The modern world is the ultimate enabler of addictive behaviour. And there's a quote by Naval Ravikant that says, The fundamental delusion, there is something out there that will make me happy and fulfilled forever. And in modern society, we live by this delusion. We're always in a state of seeking to find something that will satisfy our deepest desires. And we indulge in behaviours that don't serve us, but why can't we stop? I recently shared my thoughts on the bigger picture of addiction, so if some if that's something you're interested in, please check out the video, which will be up here somewhere. But today I want to focus on a more specific part of addiction. When you realise there's a problem, why is it so hard to stop? Now, obviously this is a complex question, but I recently came across a Toby Robbins interview, and... There was something he said in it that resonated with me deeply and it identified the crux of the problem stopping me from taking the first step in overcoming my addiction and I want to share that with you today. So before we get to the insight, I want to share with you a small story that will give you context to it. So back when Tony Robbins was starting out as a therapist, um, he had a client come to him who wanted to stop smoking. Now, the client hadn't arrived on time, so Tony decided to go downstairs into the lobby of the hotel he was working from to see if um, the client was outside. And he found his client furiously chain-smoking his cigarettes. And Tony goes up to him and he's like, he's like what are you doing? And he's like, oh... I'm just smoking my final cigarettes, like, just leave me be, let me smoke my final cigarettes, ah, like, absolutely horrified of the idea of walking into the room with Tony and not being able to smoke another cigarette ever again, and instantly Tony realised the problem, this guy was absolutely terrified of the idea of stopping smoking, and it was driving him to smoke more. And as soon as Tony said that, something just clicked in my brain. Some pieces fell together. And I think that was just such a beautiful synthesis as to why people who know they've got a problem with something can't just put it down and move on with their lives. And it totally makes sense from a logical point as well. We form addictions because we're trying to fill a void deep within us. Like, we have sex or watch porn because we feel lonely. We aimlessly scroll and post on social media seeking validation from others because we feel like we're not good enough. So when you try and remove the behavioural substance that you're addicted to, it's no surprise your body goes into an irrational state of panic. You're trying to remove a mechanism that your body or mind has deliberately put into place to protect you from pain. So your brain, your body, the part of you that put that defense mechanism into place believes it's put it there for your best interests in survival. Um, because what does your brain think? Pain is bad. Pain is a threat to my survival. So when you experienced pain and you then took the substance or engaged in the behavior that removed the pain, what does your brain think? Well, this behavioral substance removes pain. Less pain means increased chance of my survival. Therefore, this behavior is good. Removing this behavior is more pain, which I want to avoid at all costs. Like, it's your survival mechanisms working against you in this case and there's a beautiful quote by Russell Brand that I want to share with you and it says a pain in the leg means don't put pressure on this leg a pain in the mind means change the way you live and I think that's such a beautiful quote that's applicable to this this video here because when you but when you realize that the reason you can't stop your addiction is because you're feeling a certain level of pain and you're feeling that pain because there's something fundamentally wrong in the way that you're living you're then presented with a new insight that enables you to have a bit of clarity as to why you're having trouble ending the addiction 
ultimately you come to the conclusion that the coping mechanism you've been using isn't serving you anymore and you have faith that there is a better way of solving the pain or addressing the pain that you've been trying to hide with the coping mechanism of your choice and I think once you come to that realization it makes the whole process of overcoming your addiction much more easy because you haven't got this primal pain instinct fighting against you you can begin to tame that down by changing your beliefs about the situation and reduce the fear and that dramatically increases your chances of overcoming the addiction so that is yeah that is why i believe 99 percent of people never quit their addictions because the primal fear instinct is on such overdrive it's just almost impossible to use your own free will to override it so by changing your beliefs about the situation and reframing it in a way where you understand it logically and you can see how by removing that substance and putting in a system to process the pain or trauma that you can then remove the crux of the problem rather than trying to just scramble and like just cover up the symptoms of it and i hope that has been insightful to you if you want a general overview of how i believe addiction works then click on the video sort of up here or down here and um yeah thanks for watching